I watched this with my mom. I'm so happy to hear that. We loved it. What did she think? <laughs> she loved it. She likes period pieces like this. Good. And and this was just I I like there was another show on Netflix, Anne with an E. I don't know if you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So she's like, this reminds me of that Anne with an E because the the way the progression of the story and just the kind of like maybe the costumes. I don't know. So props to you both. Same time period. Yeah, it actually yeah yes. it actually is mm -hmm. yeah. So let's talk about the experience of being on this incredible show. My opening question to you is true events based on true events? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Grace Marks was a real person. She immigrated to Canada, was um, convicted of murdering her her housekeeper and her and her I don't want to say master, like property owner. Master. Yeah. And uh, and she went to Kingston Penitentiary for fifteen years and was pardoned and Margaret Atwood wrote a historical fiction novel about what actually could have happened and if she did do it or not. And that's the question when you watch the show. Who done it? Who done it? Who done it? When you read the script, tell me what your first thoughts were. Scripts. Scripts. I would imagine there were a lot of them. <laughs> no, I mean, it's a six part, six, right? Yeah, right. six hour, yeah. Six hour, I mean, sort of masterpiece. Um, I, I was completely enthralled. I obviously was familiar with Margaret Atwood, but had not specifically read Alias Grace. Um, so my first introduction to it was the beautiful scripts by Sarah Polly, um, and then read the book. It's a fascinating story. I mean, it's, it's, it's utterly fascinating. Nancy is very complicated and strange and wonderful. And I just love that we aren't given all of the information about Grace, that you know she's actually allowed to be her own complicated, ambiguous person without the audience or reader being spoon-fed, and I love that. You know what I thought, too, is like, yes, this happened in the 1840s, I believe, mm -hmm. around then, but it's applicable to today's. So there's conversations that could come from this story. Am I right, or is it just me? Well, that kind of is Margaret Atwood's like crazy okay. knack for That's writing time timeless female stories, is that I feel like you could read them at any period or adapt them at any time and there'd be a conversation happening right right at that time that was still relevant. Yes, I got it. All right. Yeah, uh, you did. High five. <laughs> I read that you just learned to sew and you didn't just stop. You just sewed and sewed and yeah. sewed. Days and days and days. No, I had I had these two lovely women come and teach me how to sew from the Quilting Society and they also taught me a lot about quilts and what, you know, different patterns mean and and they were so encouraging and lovely and nice. And I would just kind of in prep, you know, part of my my job was to just sit with these cool women and so and we'd gossip and we'd chat and we'd had we had a great time. My favorite part about that answer was that there's a quilting society. <laughs> oh yeah, there's That's cool. several quilting societies. Really? Yeah. Okay, I've learned something today. <laughs> Costumes for this. It's gotta be fun to dress up. I mean, these this is a period piece. And Absolutely. The costumes are so Amazing. Was it fun? Well, I mean, the costumes in this sort of job inform a lot of your performance because there's certain things that you cannot physically do if you're wearing a corset. Um, there's also things that, because Nancy's not actually a rich lady, but has sort of been able to mold herself into that sort of lifestyle that she has sort of chosen not to be able to do, which is sort of why she hires Grace. Also, she's really lonely and quite sad, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, the costumes were amazing. I've, I've done a lot, I've spent a lot of time in corsets in my career, so that wasn't exotic per se, but at least I sort of knew what, you know, what to expect.